All right, guys, Overarch here, and today I'm going to give you a quick guide on how to improve your performance in PUBG for those of us with AMD cards. So this is a two-part video. There's a general section and then an AMD-specific section. There's a timestamp down in the description that you can use to jump to the AMD-specific part. Something to keep in mind, though, is that most people gain more from the general section of this video than from the AMD specific part. So if you haven't already done things like disabling high DPI settings or setting your start parameters, don't skip it as that's where you're going to see the most improvement. Next up, this is a follow on video to a video I had previously. And in this video, we're going to go more in depth with AMD cards. Let's get started. So this first tip is pretty big. I've heard people reporting up to a 100% gain in FPS, doubling their FPS just with this one simple setting. We are going to disable high DPI scaling. So if you go to player, select player unknowns battleground in Steam, and then go to properties. Next, you're going to go to local files and then browse local files. From there, you go to TSL game, binaries, Windows 64, and then where it says TSL game here, you're going to right click that and go to properties. You're then going to go to compatibility and check this box here, override high DPI behavior scaling performance by and select application. So this is in Windows 10 in Windows 7, I'm sorry, Windows 8. It's called disable DPI scaling on DPI. So just check that, hit OK done you should get a few extra frames just by that the next thing we're going to do and this one's also pretty big is we're going to go to set launch options and like i said some of these are now disabled there's two different launch options down in the description below one is for systems with more than eight gigabits of ram the other is for those with less than eight gigabits of ram so going through here as you see refresh here that should be set to the refresh rate in hertz of your monitor 144 will be fine if you don't know what your refresh rate is on the monitor maximum memory is the maximum number of gigabits of memory that the system can use this is set to 13 if you have less than 8 gigabits of memory you will instead use the low memory option in the description malloc system just tells it to use the memory allocation of the system Use all available cores is self-explanatory. And then SM4 sets it to a lower direct X setting. I actually am not sure if this setting has been disabled by the devs. If it has been, that's not a big deal. It just won't help you any, but we're still leaving it in there just in case. But hit okay and you're done. That's the hardest part of this. But the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that all of your settings are on performance rather than power saver. This is especially true for laptops, even if they're plugged in. So you're gonna go to the battery icon in your icon bar in the bottom right. You're gonna click the battery icon and make sure everything in there is on performance rather than power saver. Next, make sure your drivers are set up to run at the native resolution of your monitor. For most of us, this should be 1080p. I'm going to go through how to set this up in the drivers in the NVIDIA AMD specific sections. Just for now, make sure the game is running on 1080p. Uh, most modern operating systems will automatically defragment your hard drives. If you have old, an older system, type into the search bar in the bottom left disk defrag or disk cleanup and run that application. What this does is it physically moves the information on your hard drive to make it closer together and make it load faster. Or better yet, you could put the game onto an SSD. Next, make sure you're only running the programs that you want to and that there's no bloatware on your computer. So again, into the search bar, I'm going to type in startup and I'm going to go through the control panel which pops up and make sure that only the programs I need to have running are running when the computer starts. I'm also going to go into the task manager and I'm going to sort by memory and see what is using up all the memory on my computer and see if there's anything I don't need to have open that I can shut down and therefore free up a little bit more space for PUBG. Lastly, and this one's a little bit more extreme, you can overclock some of your hardware. There are disadvantage, disadvantages to this, such as reduced lifespan on some hardware, and not all hardware can do it. 
There are other guides out there that can explain in way more detail how to do this, but it's worth mentioning that it is an option to squeeze out a little bit more life from some old hardware. Okay, now we're going to go into the actual game settings. So there are a bunch of settings in here, and some of them have a higher performance cost than others. As you can see here, these are my settings. FPS camera, FOV, is only used in first-person mode. However, it does have a significant impact on performance as it increases how much you can see, which will therefore also mean you have to render more and that takes more performance. Please note that if you have ever adjusted this at all, there is a fix you need to do to get all your performance back that we're going to go into later. Next up, I have ant is anti-aliasing. I personally don't feel that this has a huge performance impact, I still prefer to have it set on medium or low. Next up is post-processing, so there's very little difference between low post-processing and very low post-processing, so I just prefer to set it on low. Next up is shadow. Shadows have a huge performance hit, so I prefer to use it on low. Very low looks very ugly, but will give you a little bit better performance. Textures, so the textures in the game are dependent on how much video memory and how much RAM you have available. I have a bunch of those, so I do set textures up to high. Next, effects. Effects are very, very taxing on your graphics card, so I prefer to keep them very low. Same thing for foliage. View distance is up to you. However, obviously, the higher that's set, the more it's going to have to render. And then I disable motion blur, not because I care about performance, but because I hate motion blur. Alright, so this next section is specifically for the two different types of video card manufacturers, AMD and NVIDIA. I do not have an NVIDIA card, I am on Team Red. So, they're going to do the exact same thing if you have an NVIDIA card. It's just going to be a slightly different user interface. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my desktop. I'm going to go to dis display settings. I'm then going to check my resolution. It should be on whatever is recommended. For most people, this is going to be 1920 by 1080, also called 1080p. Once I know what that is, I'm going to go down to my icon bar here and I'm going to right click on this icon, which is the drivers for AMD cards. I'm then going to go to Graphics Profile, and I'm going to hit Optimize Profile. That is one way to set, um, or I'm sorry, Optimize Performance. That is one way to set optimum performance for all of your games. Normally, I keep this on Balanced. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Display here, and I want to make sure that FreeSync is off if it's on a, if I have a FreeSync supported monitor. Virtual super scaling off, GPU scaling off, scaling mode should be preserve aspect ratio, and HDMI scaling should be zero. Next, I'm going to go to gaming, and I'm going to find Player Unknown's Battleground, and click on it. So this sets the rendering settings at the uh, driver level for Player Unknown's Battleground. All of these settings will do the exact same thing as if I went to my Radeon settings and hit Graphic Profile, Optimize Performance. This will let me set it for Player Unknown's Battleground only though, so if I want to have my other games rendering at higher settings, I can do that. Or I can come down here as I showed you and just hit everything, all games, to run at Optimize Performance. So going through here, you want to make sure you're using application settings for analyzing. Multi-sampling for analyzing method. All of these others are more hardware intensive. Estropic filtering should be use application settings. Texture filtering quality should be performance. Desolation mode should be AMD operized, optimized. Shader cache should be AMD optimized. And wait for vertical refresh should be always off or off unless application specifies. So I hope this helps you get a little bit better performance out of Player Unknown's Battleground, a game that is not exactly well optimized, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.